For more than 70 years, the water carnival has been an annual summer tradition in Bemidji. Tonight, Haiti Clotter shows us how the Bemidji JCs are now taking it back to where it all started. This way for the Bemidji JCs, they held a press conference to discuss changes for its 73rd annual water carnival. The festival is a six day event that goes along with the city's 4th of July celebration. It's just a tradition for, for the community. We like to see everybody come out and bring their families. It's, people seem to look forward to it. A new logo was unveiled featuring none other than Paul and Babe and highlighting the location change to 4th Street. Last year, the water carnival was held at the Sanford Center, but due to construction, that changed. It may be snowing now, but come this summer, 4th Street and the City Live will be filled with Merriam's Midway. The last time it was held at this location was in 1995. The parade will be shortened by five blocks and will travel from 15th Street, then south down Beltrami Avenue, turn west on 5th Street, and then travel north on Minnesota. The carnival will also have an effect on local businesses downtown, but the Bemidji JCs are hopeful for a positive impact. Bringing the, the water carnival back downtown is an important thing for them during that time. Parking will be a big deal and city manager Nate Matthews believes the Bemidji JCs will work well together with the Bemidji Downtown Alliance to find a solution. We'll be able to work it through okay. We've got good communication with the Downtown Business Alliance in the city and uh, we'll be communicating with them with the JCs leadership on, on the best way to handle the parking uh, this summer. While some things still need to be figured out, this big move will show how the community has evolved. It's a time for us to celebrate our lake and it's a time to get together in the summer with our visitors visitors and also with the residents of Bemidji to celebrate summer and celebrate our community. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Last year, an estimated 10,000 people attended the water carnival. It featured in an entertainment tent, a fireworks show, and more. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.